Hey y'all, I'm Lily O'Reilly. This is Lily O'Reilly Reviews. And today I've got Jay with me because he's talked me into trying out some snack box. I don't know. Let's get to it, huh? Okay, so Jay, what is it? Okay, so I keep on seeing this on TikTok, on YouTube, things like that, where a lot of people are trying something from Bussin' Snacks. Look at it go. Bringing you exotic snacks and drinks from around the world to your doorstep. And you paid for this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I did. Mostly because it was kind of like I got grabby hands with it because I'm a snack person regardless. And they did a lot of spicy stuff. And from the last time that y'all saw it, I'm a spice lover. Well, um, I'm just hoping things aren't too spicy. But... Yeah, let's see what we got. Okay, for the first one that actually pulls up is... Brazil Barbecue Pork Rib Flavored Lays. They look Vietnamese. I think they're Vietnamese. Can I? Yep. Oh, that's Can right. I? I forgot their bags are oh. legit. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. It smells like cheddar and sour cream, like the regular Lay's a little bit. Hmm. Put it in your mouth, you pansy. It tastes like dog toy smell. Yep, that's exactly what that is. Hmm. Oh. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> I'm not it. I'm not eating that one. That's that smells like chew toys. It's it's oh the, so bad. The only thing that makes it about like edible is the salt that's on it. But no, it doesn't. Well, I hate it. Oh, okay, that was that's bad. It's in my teeth. My teeth too. Yeah. Okay, so the next one that they have is actual extra hot flaming cheetos i know that this is from mexico because it has the, maize queso actually it's because uh, there's a lot of corner store markets that i went to when i was back in texas living there exceso calorias exceso sodio <laughs> basically they'll fucking kill you yeah but mas queso you know how a lot of people would say like hey have you ever been to where it originated from these originated back in Mexico, and they're actually amazing. They're probably my favorite flavor as far as any hot Cheeto. Compared to, like, the lime hot Cheetos, a jalapeno cheddar, whatever. I'm going to die. They're not that... They're flavorful. They're not that spicy. You're full I, I should hold off on saying that. <laughs> Look at these. These are, like, aggressively Cheetoed. Yeah, because these are... These are... Oh. These are my favorite because they're flavorful. They're not that spicy. I smelled it and I know I'm going to die. Cheers. It's like vinegar took a really hot shit on my tongue. <laughs> they're not that bad. It's They're, like if Cholula ass dragged across my taste buds. These are probably my favorite chips ever. My tongue is going numb. <laughs> it has a little bit more pepper than usual, mm. but they're really good. For spice lovers, I do recommend. This gets a 10 out of 10 for me. That gets a 1, and that's only because it happened to be slightly potatoey flavored. My tonsils hurt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you give this a what out of ten? <laughs> no, I'm okay. not gonna. That's awful. Okay, and that also gets like a zero. I wouldn't put that in my compost pile. Oh, okay. That one was bad. All right, so how about we do something sweet? Um, Canadian. Oh, this is from Canada. Jolly Rancher Misfit Gummies, 
And Tropical unisharks. They're unicorn sharks. They're cute. And they look like they're... Halfsies. Yep, they're halfsies of a couple of flavors. Hmm. Okay, cool. I am trying to hurry so You're I can get, <laughs> get the spice out of your mouth. And they're... Oh. They're... Ooh. They smell really good. They're Look like, at these cute little bitches. They're adorable. They're like Sour Patches. Mmm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Give me anything sour and anything fruity. It's not sour. Mm. Okay. Purple and yellow are pineapple and pomegranate. The kind of clear one and orange is lime and mango. That's what I got. The one that I got was lychee and kiwi. I'm a lychee fiend. That's really good. Mm. Mm. Really good. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that gets a 10 out of 10 also. Mm. I want those. If you're watching this and you're Canadian, we can work something out. How about we take a snack break with a drink that's in bubble wrap? I wanted the bubble wrap dingus. Schweppes. Pomegranate. And pomegranate. Hmm. Where's it from? Russia! Oh, cool. No, Ukraine. Glad we cleared that up. Ukrainian pomegranate soda. I've never had anything from Ukraine. Hmm. They're not really big on exporting, as far as I know. Mm. I'll oh. let you put first cooties in it. I, as soon as you open that, I got a big whiff of it. It smells like cranberry juice. That tracks. Um, Good or bad? Bad. Fuck. Um, that's like no part of the sugar. And it doesn't help that we ate something sweet beforehand, so there's no... It's like carbonated pomegranate. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> it tastes like cranberry juice more than pomegranate. It's kind of tart. Which, it's, it's okay. It's just none of the sweet that you expect from a drink like that. I say that as she makes that face. I, <laughs> there is sweet, though. Try it again. Give your taste buds another chance. On the very back end of this drink, there's, like, that much sweetness. But it tastes rotten more than enjoyable. Yep, that's right. Right at the front of it, it's, it's like, oh, it's Pomegranate kind of... Pomegranate elderly. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like it. This is like the pomegranate if you had, like, the cane and the rocking chair on the front porch and you're sitting there, like, get the hell off my lawn. Just not... That gets a three to, for me. Okay, so... The next thing we have is... Arrow Truffle. Mousse. Uh, chocolate mousse from... Nestle. Which can mean anywhere. Canada, I think. Yeah, it's from Nestle, Canada. Also, it has French on it. I was going to say Switzerland. Why would it be Switzerland? Well, yeah, but that's the owner. The licensee is Nestle Canada, and you can tell because it's bilingual in English and French, which probably means it's from Montreal. Yep, from Montreal. That's cool. Hmm. Okay. Well. I love Montreal. Wish I could have gone. Yeah. I get the feeling that... I don't know. I'm hoping someone would be nice to me. Yeah, they're very French-influenced. Hmm. But it's beautiful. Beautiful place. Amazing public transit. Breaks apart. Kind of reminds me of a Kit Kat a little bit. Ooh. Really chocolatey. It looks like bone marrow. A little bit. That is really, really chocolatey. It has that, like, Nestle chocolate, though, where it's just kind of like a bland milk chocolate. It's not a chocolate. Mm-hmm. But it's nice. Yeah. This is like, mm, 
But this is like if you took all of the wafery center out of a Kit Kat, and it's just the chocolate that's left over. But it's also like we're paying for a chocolate bar that is mostly air in the center. Yeah, that's disappointing. It's just like a five out of me because it's just milk chocolate. I'd rather, have, I'd rather have a Hershey's bar than that. No. Maybe if I was the But a lint truffle? I'd go for that. Mm. That's not bad. That's okay. Um, here's what the actual packaging looks like. Oh, yeah, you forgot that part. Hmm. Speaking oh. of Kit Kats, we got a Japanese Kit Kat bar. That is... Yep, that's Japanese, I believe. Are you sure? Yep. Nestle.jp. We have a Japanese Kit Kat bar. The last time I was in Japan, I loaded my suitcase up with seasonal Kit Kats before I left. That was also when I got bomb searched because I had all of my cameras and all of my wires all shoved into one pouch in my uh, carry-on. And they were very sweet about it, but they also very much thought I was a little white terrorist. Which I mean, statistically. First flight I ever went to, I had to go ahead and go through the actual, what was it, the TSA thing? Cavity search? Um... No. Kind of. They strip searched me because I had the meat lock whenever I was... Uh, I used to be a truck driver. <laughs> the meat lock that you put on the back of the trailer um, <laughs> where uh, you have to make sure that everything is locked really tight. It's reinforced titanium. They're like $90, $100. But it's really heavy, and if you don't know what it looks like, it, I guess it could look like a bomb. Well, went through the actual check-in for TSA, and they stopped. They opened it up. They're like, what is this? It's a meat lock. Hmm. Give me the... All right. Step over here, please. I'm like, you were okay, melanated sure. and suspicious. Sure enough. And then sure, I uh, went into that one room. They were like, all right, go ahead mm. and strip down for us. I'm like, okay. Uh, granted, this was years and years and years ago, like uh, 2013 or 14. Oh, years ago. What? Anyways, uh, <laughs> so whenever I was going on the connecting flight going over to uh, New York, which didn't help... Uh, going to the Bronx, actually. Um, <laughs> that's when they decided to stop me. Like, uh, what do you got there, pretty much? So. Oh, God. Did they let you take it? Oh, yeah, they let me take it afterwards because they were like, it has no moving parts. It's just solid metal. I mean, Which, you could bludgeon. They have stolen my hairpins, and they let you take a cudgel. Well, yeah, I guess so. Crumble, 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 fucker. Hmm. All right, so. Dark chocolate? I think so. There's a Kit Kat. Yeah. They kind of... That's a dark chocolate Kit Kat. That's a little bit more savory to me. I actually like that because I don't like dark chocolate. Um, or at least not that much. You know how they give that illusion if, like, oh, it's from someplace else that's not where you're from. It's much better or could be different. They're different. They're a little different, but not, like, dramatically. It's different just... food safety standards. That, too. But, yeah. That's not bad. It's just a dark chocolate Kit Kat. Mm -hmm. I'm not upset. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, the next thing will be... Packing peanuts. Oreos? Not just Oreos. Strawberry cream Oreos via Mondelez. Is that Thai? Nope, Vietnam. Yep, that's Vietnamese. Out of Singapore. Hmm. hmm. Wait. Singapore is not... Why do they have that there? Alright, let's try this again. Vietnam. Singapore. I need to go ahead and grab them. I don't think so, but don't take my word for that. I failed. Um, Do we have I was going to say geometry. Um, <laughs> You're doing wonders for your uh, educational system. Let's see. Um, Singapore's got to be in. It is a product of Indonesia. See? Little words. 
product of Indonesia. So at least we know that part. Singapore and Vietnam keep excellent manufacturing. Okay, that's how we. I do think this one got crunched in transit, though. Come on. No, they're just next to each other. So, uh, nope. We were subject to an American educational system. I'm sorry. I'm worse. from Texas. Um, I got pieces. Get that. Uh oh. Got you a whole one. So these are whoa, very very strawberry. Yeah, you can. Ooh. That hopeful little face, y'all can't see it, but there's a little pity face right at the edge of the table. Like, please, sir, may I have some? Just a smidgen. Good or bad? Really good. A little bit of tart for the strawberry. It's not overly sweet. The cookie comes across really well, but mm. that's really good. Really good. Hmm. I think the smartest thing they could have done with that is it's not as like stuffed as a normal Oreo. If it had a little bit more cream, it'd be a little bit too tart. So the fact that it's mm -mm. just enough. I could eat this sugar with a spoon. <laughs> Never mind. That's what it reminds me of. The really strawberry wafers. but the sugar wafers. Yep, yeah. the sugar wafers. Mm, that's really good. How much did you pay for this box? 40 was it worth it? No, yes, no, yes, 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 and yes. Mm. I think those two maybes. The Kit Kat was a maybe. The arrow was kind of a maybe. Mm -hmm. So would you recommend that other people pick this one up, especially compared to the Tri Treats that we tried earlier? That is really hard, especially since the Tri Treats, there was a lot of... They were thematic, at least. Mm-hmm. This one was a random one. I don't believe Bustin' Snacks has a thematic one where it's just from one area to even just one country. But this was just a random box, and I think they're actually running out at the moment. So I personally liked my Try Treats box better. I think so, too. Because the one we had was Thai. Yep. And, oh, my God, those lobster lays have sat with me. They were so good. Yeah, they really were. That sesame uh, seaweed wrap, oh, wrap mm. so good. The little chocolate candies. Yep. Like, I still remember the things that were in my Tri Treats box because I liked it so much. Oh, yeah. This it was okay. <laughs> the gummies were good. The Oreos were good, but ultimately kind of forgettable. It, yep, a little bit. I do think you're going to eat the rest of those hot Cheetos I'm tonight. going to. And I'm going to try and forget those lays. No, I'm going to sneak those onto your food. Ah, uh, looks like I'm not eating today. <laughs> All right, fine. So, where can they find you online? All right, so to go ahead and find me online, I'm actually doing a creepypasta reading channel for Quaver. And that'll be in the link in the description. The and content. this keeps him from telling me his creepy shit, which gives me ye old heebel jeebles. Yep. It's much better if he keeps them in his head and then shares them with you, too. <laughs> so that is your creative endeavor, correct? That's right. As for me, you can, as always, your head's in the way, you big-headed weirdo, find me online at beacons.ai slash lilibunt or find.lilyoreilly.com. And if you want to support us buying more snack boxes to try for you in the future, there's always ko-fi.com slash lilyoreilly. If you tell me it's for snack boxes, I'll make sure we feed the boy, too. So, in conclusion, be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!